Coyoshalqui in Aztec tradition was the spirit of the moon and represented the lunar cycles. Her dismemberment represents the sun's triumph over the moon with each new day, shown in her origin story with that of her brother, Huitzilopochtli. As explained by Milbrath in Decapitated Lunar Goddesses in Aztec Art, Myth, and Ritual, and Gonzalez in Mud People, Coyoshalqui plotted with her 400 brothers and sisters to kill their mother, Coatlicue, she of the serpent skirt, after she was impregnated by a ball of feathers. The child, Huitzilopochtli, who represents the sun, sprang from his mother's womb having heard of the plot, and, armed with the fire serpent, decapitated his sister, Coyoshalqui, on the hill of Coatepec, and flung her 400 brothers and sisters into the sky, becoming the Milky Way, and Coyoshalqui became the moon. The decapitation of Coyoshalqui has celestial as well as political metaphors. In her article on decapitated lunar goddesses, Milbrath cites Seller in his interpretation of the story. Seller suggested that Coyoshalqui's decapitation explained the, quote, disappearance of the waning moon, losing body parts as it moves closer to the sun, whereas Huichilopochtli's triumph over her brothers depicts the daily triumph of the sun over the stars, end quote. In the political arena, the decapitation represents inner dissent and turmoil between native clans or groups. Umberger, cited by Milbrath, suggests that the dismemberment was a representation of, quote, a political group rivaling the Mexica. Therefore, she takes the role of the moon as a rival to the Mexica solar god Huitzilopochtli, end quote. Matos Moctezuma, a Mexican archaeologist who directed the 1978 excavation of Templo Mayor, where the stone image of decapitated Coyoshalqui was found, believes this story has both political and celestial interpretations. The political explanation referred to real events, while the celestial explanation emerged from, quote, the duality inherent in the beliefs of agricultural people focusing on the sun and moon, end quote. Urban women's groups, which were created in the 1970s and 80s, utilized the themes of dismemberment and rebirth of Coyoshalqui in their movement. In Mud People, Gonzalez explains, quote, As Hikanas helping to build a spiritual nation, we seek to understand Coyoshalqui's message, end quote. The image of Coyoshalqui used by the urban women's movement gave the idea of piercing the people back together. Many grassroots organizations, like Coordinadora Nacional de Movimientos Urbanos Populares, Regional de Mujeres, Las Chavas Bravas, and, in 1997, Mujeres de Maíz, were created to fight for land, food subsidies, violence against women, and empowering women to embrace their indigenous heritage. Silvia Ledesma, a Hicana ceremonial leader, explains in The Mud People by Gonzalez that, quote, Coyoshalqui represents the dismemberment of feminine energy and its reemergence in everyone, end quote. Coyoshalqui is also connected to Olin, the Nahua word for movement. The circular stone of Coyoshalqui found at Templo Mayor shows her in constant movement. Women's coalitions were not the only ones who identified with the broken body of Coyoshalqui. As Gonzalez explains, quote, Mexicanas, Hicanas, and Lesbianas began to remember ourselves with La Coyo, end quote. These women were able to find inner knowledge, truth, and spirituality in the story of Coyoshalqui. Today, Coyoshalqui is celebrated in art, dance, such as danza azteca, and storytelling within the community. According to rbbnamer.com, Zilali is a girl's name of Aztec origin. The meaning of Zilali is star from the Noa language and is a popular name among Mexican people. Zilali is associated with Zilalique. Zilalique was a creator spirit who created the Milky Way, sun, moon, and the first man along with her husband, Sitlal Tonak. Sila Likwe is widely recognized for wearing a star skirt, also called the cloak of the night sky. Sila Likwe is called upon during births. According to the book Mexican History, a primary source reader, this is the story of the creation of the first man. Sila Likwe gave birth to, the, to a great knife or flint. Because her children were frightened of it, they agreed to cast this knife from the sky. It fell into a particular part of the earth called Chico Mostec, which means seven caves, and out came 1,600 gods. These fallen and exiled ones lacked servants, so they agreed to send a message to their mother, Sileliuque, saying that because they had been cast out and banished, she should give them the power to raise men who would serve them. Sileliuque responded, 
If they had deserved to have them, then they would have always had them in their company. However, they did not deserve this. If they wanted servants on the earth, they would have to ask the chief of hell, who might give them some bone or ash of the ancient dead. Then upon them they might sacrifice themselves, and from them man and woman would be created. Today, Seat Lolly exists as a political comic strip series. This comic, Seat Lolly, La Chicana Superhero, was created by Deborah Vasquez because of the, quote, lack of positive images of her people in majority culture, end quote. Seat Lolly's superhero character is able to explore a wide range of, quote, social and political issues pertaining to Chicanas and other women, end quote. Quote, Seat Lolly is a submersive modern-day Chicana superhero who challenges stereotypes of women of color and addresses pressing issues that affect Chicanas or Chicanos and or Latinos in their daily lives, end quote. Quote, her superhero power is deeply rooted in love of strong women in her, and in her family and in her community, end quote. Seat Lolly challenges gender roles and what a woman should look like and act like. She is not drawn as dainty, but instead she is butch-like. Quote, she has full red lips, dark brown skin, and a mane of long black hair, bulging muscles and a steer on her face. Her fierce eyes challenge the viewer. She sports a red bandana on her head and wears tight green pants reflecting the colors of the Mexican flag. On her feet are rugged cowboy boots, and beneath an ammunition of belts, an image of the revered Virgin of Guadalupe of Mexico is embroidered across her busty chest. She wields guns, knives, bow and arrow, and powerful fists, fists and legs to battle injustice, end quote.